Chapter 5. Consumer Rights Consumers participate in the market when they purchase goods and services that they need. These are the final goods that people as consumers use. Rules and regulations are required for the protection of the consumers in the marketplace. Exploitation in the marketplace happens in various ways. For example, sometimes traders indulge in unfair trade practices such as when shopkeepers weigh less than what they should or when traders add charges that were not mentioned before or when adulterated or defective goods are sold. Markets do not work in a fair manner when producers are few and powerful whereas consumers purchase in small amounts and are scattered. This happens especially when large companies are producing these goods. These companies with huge wealth, power and reach can manipulate the market in various ways. At times, false information is passed on through the media and other sources to attract consumers. Consumer movement the consumer movement arose out of dissatisfaction of the consumers as many unfair practices were being indulged by the sellers. There was no legal system available to consumers to protect them from exploitation in the marketplace. It took many years for organizations in India and around the world to create awareness amongst people. This has also shifted the responsibility of ensuring quality of goods and services on the sellers. More recently, India witnessed an upsurge in the number of consumer groups. A major step taken in 1986 by the Indian government was the enactment of the Consumer Protection Act 1986, popularly known as COPRA. Consumer Rights Number 1. Safety Number 2. Information about goods and services in October 2005, the Government of India enacted a law popularly known as RTI or Right to Information Act which ensures its citizens all the information about the functions of government departments. Number three, the right to choose. Number four, to get a refund when the product is defective. Number five, the right to seek redressal against unfair trade practices and exploitation. The consumer can file a complaint before the appropriate consumer forum on his or her own with or without the services of lawyers. Number six, the right to represent in the consumer courts. Taking the consumer moment forward, India has been observing 24th December as the National Consumers Day. It was on this day that the Indian Parliament enacted the Consumer Protection Act in 1986. India is one of the countries that have exclusive codes for consumer redressal. The consumer movement in India has made some progress in terms of numbers of organized groups and their activities. There are today more than 700 consumer groups in the country of which only about 20 to 25 are well organized and recognized for their work. Nevertheless, there is scope for consumers to realize their role and importance. It requires a voluntary effort and struggle involving the participation of one and all. So, in this way, we studied this chapter. You can also do some Google search and add some additional information to the existing knowledge which we have. And if you have any doubts or suggestions, you can let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Have a great day.